welcome to Master the Peace So today I wanted to take a step back into true black history and give you a lesson in what made America truly great. The white guy with the sword is Thomas Grosner. So you have Thomas Grosner and you have Peter Salem, black and white fighting side by side. But Peter is definitely the hero that day. 1817, this painting is done. And all the way up until the 1980s, we knew that that was Peter Salem, the hero of Bunker Hill. 1980s, the professors got together and said, oh, no, that's not Peter Salem. Um, We think that that's Grosvenor's slave is who that is. It's it's not Peter Salem. Oh, you're kidding. No, in the 80s, they they changed that from Peter Salem to Grosvenor's slave, Asaba. And that's what they say. Oh, no, it's not Peter. It's Asaba, Grosvenor. It's his slave. How come the guy who painted it and the guy who was there and the guy who saw it and painted what he saw had him as Peter Salem? And now we've all convinced, oh, no, it's just like they were courageous Americans who won the battle. And we don't we can't afford to say that. That'd make America look good. When did America have the first speaker of the House? 1789. Wow. Details next. Exactly right. All right, David, explain quickly. Let's go through these people. Let's go through these. Uh, This guy right here, this is Lemuel Haynes. Lemuel Haynes is uh, a soldier in the American Revolution. He's a black preacher. He's the first black preacher ordained in America that was a pastor of a white congregation in Vermont, Massachusetts, New York, several places. Wait, a black professor... In black a preacher. white, that's right. In a I mean, white, white yeah, black, uh, black minister, the black minister in a white church, in four different states. He was ordained in the Congregational denomination, in 1785. Mm-hmm. He received, he's the first black to receive a master's degree in America. He got that in 1804 from Middlebury College. So Lemuel Haynes, uh, every year on Washington's birthday, he preached a special sermon about George Washington, his commander in chief, in all of his churches where he was. So we don't hear about Lemuel Haynes. Uh, this is Benjamin Banneker. I think he's the most brilliant scientist in American history. This guy, wow. unbelievable what he did. He is, he's the guy. More who, so than, than uh, Franklin? Uh, I, I would put Franklin and Banneker almost equal. Now, Franklin Holy did cow. a lot of inventions. This guy one time took a pocket watch. He, he taught himself how to read. He taught himself science. He wrote an almanac that 10 years ahead, he was able to predict to the minute, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, 10 years before they happened. I mean, by, by watching the motion through a telescope, it, unbelievable what the guy did. He once took the back off a pocket watch, saw how it worked went home and carved a wooden clock with all the gears mainspring and it was accurate to within one minute a year a wooden clock the Holy guy did cow. he's the guy who laid out washington dc he, he's the the surveyor who did all that he's a brilliant mathematician jefferson gave I him never a, knew this no, jefferson gave him an example to france said hey you guys in france think that blacks are inferior here's benjamin banneker okay i have jefferson two minutes banneker. total so okay quickly right here, there and then we have one right here thing. james armistead we talked about the first yep. double spy really cool guy this is richard allen he's the first <laughs> founder of a black denomination nomination in America. Uh, he is a soldier in the American Revolution. He actually is the first guy to practice medicine taught by sign of the Declaration, Dr. Benjamin Rush. Just a really cool story. Okay. So really cool. All right, good. Now tell Here me. Here are these guys. Now let's take the uh, now, f- full of the uh, the first uh, representatives. I asked, when did we have our first black speaker of the House? Uh, when did we have the first speaker of the House? Uh, 1789. 1789. When did we have our first black speaker of the House? I bet most people would say never. Never. Except it was right here. Joseph Hayne Rainey. Joseph Hayne Rainey of South Carolina is first black to preside over the House of Representatives. Uh, these are the first seven blacks elected to Congress. You have here Senator Hiram Rhodes Revels, the first black U.S. Senator elected. He was a minister of the gospel. He was a missionary. He worked with Frederick Douglass. He recruited three regiments of black soldiers in, in the uh, Civil War, and he was a missionary to slaves in the South. Uh, you have here Benjamin Turner, uh, Josiah Wall, the largest. Th- this guy right here is really cool. Uh, Robert Brown Elliott is probably the most brilliant guy of that era. He actually took on the vice president of the Confederacy in a debate on the floor and just tore his head off. The, the racist okay. Alexander Stevens. It was, it was great when, debate. When, when did we turn? Were these guys proud Americans or did oh, they say we... we, we uh, they, th- this is the epitome of what we were just talking about. These were individual guys. Half of these 
these guys taught themselves to read. Half of these guys were slaves, and five years later, they're sitting in Congress. And as slaves, it was a capital offense to learn to read. So these guys in five years, and I guarantee you read their speeches and records of Congress, you better have a dictionary and a thesaurus in both hands because you won't understand the language that you... It is so brilliant what these guys did. And, and but were, they, were they there to say the white man is bad and the America is oh, bad? No, no. And the, these guys were... Uh, uh, Richard Allen, let me go back here. Richard Allen Wait. had been in slavery. Richard Allen was in slavery, and he held no bitterness at all. He says, God would not allow bitterness even in Joseph when he was in prison. Do you think God will allow it in us? He said, we can't have bitterness. He said, by the way, there were some whites who held us in slavery, but it's whites who are working for our freedom. I mean, these guys had no right. bitterness. They, weren't, they wouldn't allow it. Back in just a second. Founders Fridays. This is lost history in America, and you need to preserve it. Back with me now is David Barton, founder and president of Wall Builders, and Lucas Morrell, professor at Washington Lee University in Virginia. We're going to get to some questions in the audience here in a second. First, one thing that I think is missing in America, and it is the key to America, has been the difference between individual rights and collective rights, and this man articulated that.